Let's talk about pulling. We typically do eight week classes where we teach people how to use the potter's wheel. And most of those eight weeks are spent on getting a feel for pulling, actually making the pot taller and thinner. And it's the most difficult part. So I wanna break it down for you in a way that's, that's easy to understand so you experience success sooner. Uh, the hand position that I like to use is putting my right thumb right on that first digit line of my middle two fingers. Okay, so it's gonna look something like that. We sometimes call this the rock and roll llama. You see the rock and roll? And there's the llama. All right, I'm gonna lock my right elbow in at my hip and drop my fingers down. So everything's relaxed, have a nice low wrist. And what I'm gonna do is put my middle two fingers on my left hand directly across from those right fingers and drop my left thumb on the outside with my right thumb. So this is what that hand position looks like. What that allows me to do is use my left thumb to help me pull. So I'm gonna get some water on here. I need the clay to be wet so it can spin. I'm gonna reach all the way down to the bottom and drive in with my fingertips a little bit. So you can see that bead starting to form there. That's passing clay. I like to think about this pull as basically having two parts, kind of a gather and then a squeeze. So I'm gathering the clay right now. I'm putting a shadow right here and clay is building up above those fingertips. My left thumb is sitting right there, ready to help me squeeze and catch that clay. And I'm gonna continue to drive all the way up to the rim with my right hand squeezing against my left hand. I'm gonna come all the way to the rim, hang out, and slowly let go to the side. So that's what it should look like. You can see the lines for my fingers are all nice and tight because I'm touching every single part of the clay. If I come up too quickly, you'll put in a spiral, but you're gonna miss all of that clay in between. So you wanna come up nice and slow. And while I still can connect my hands, that left thumb is gonna be my best friend. So for those of you who have been pulling for a little while, you may have done something like this, where you're gathering clay, you're pulling it up, and all of a sudden that clay comes off in a ring. So instead of turning into height, you just get this, this clay coming off the surface. What's happening is you're staying underneath that clay. So again, we wanna think about these pulls as having two parts. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom and I'm gonna gather. I'm gonna drive in with my middle fingers on my right hand and my thumb is backing them up and making them strong. My elbow's low, my wrist is relaxed, and those fingers are pointed slightly away from me so the clay doesn't wanna grab them and pull. They're not too vertical, they're not too flat, it's something like a, a 30 or 45 degree angle. I'm gonna drive in with the fingertips and the pads of those fingers, and before this bead of clay gets sharp, while it's still nice and soft, I need to get some pressure directly on top of it. So early on in the pot, it could be my left thumb, a little bit later, it could be my, my right index finger, but I need to get pressure directly on top of that bead of clay and squeeze it back against my inside hand. So that way that clay doesn't stay a separate unit and come off in that ring, but it turns into height. I wanna squeeze it back into the wall. And even when the pot is already the thickness that I want, so this much of my cylinder's pretty much done, it's already a quarter of an inch, my right hand's gonna to continue to drive in. And that's what keeps the cylinder narrow. We're always fighting centrifugal force. Everything wants to open up and be a bowl. So it's my right hand that's in charge. On the last pull or two, when your wall is thinner, that's when your left hand's really gonna help out. So a couple things are gonna change here. My left arm's gonna go vertical, so it's right above the pot. That way I'm not leaning my rim out and turning this into more of a planter or a bowl. I'm still gonna drive in using those middle fingers backed up by my thumb, gather the clay, now we'll use my index finger to get on top of it. But now, because my wall is so much thinner, that clay is not just kind of ramping over the clay behind it. I need these fingers, and you can see where there's no slip, my middle fingers on my left hand to resist and protect that opening that I made. So I don't just push clay to the inside and leave it behind. I want an even walled cylinder. I don't want a pot with heavy bottom. Once I get to the point where I feel like the wall is already the thickness that I want, my left hand's gonna back off the resistance. My right hand will continue to drive in just a little bit, get to the rim, and let go slowly. So give that a try, and it's normal if it takes you quite a while to make a cylinder that is even walled and slightly tapered. Everything wants to be a bolt, so um, good luck, give it a try.